गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स माई सेल्फ समीर सोंडागर विल बी टीचिंग यू मैथमेटिक्स फॉर ग्रेड नाइन चैप्टर नंबर वन दैट वुड बी नंबर सिस्टम सो लेट स्टार्ट वॉट इज बेसिकली नंबर सिस्टम सो चैप्टर नंबर वन फॉर स्टैंडर्ड नाइन दैट इज द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर इट इज नंबर सिस्टम सो नंबर सिस्टम एज यू हेड लर्न इन स्टैंडर्ड एट इट कंप्राइज ऑफ डिफरेंट नंबर्स एज यू हेड लर्न दैट इज बेसिकली यू हैविंग नेचुरल नंबर होल नंबर इंटीजर्स इवन नंबर ऑड नंबर प्राइम नंबर सिमिलरली योर इन स्टैंडर्ड नाइन यू हैड यू विल बी लर्निंग सेम दैट इज द फर्स्ट पार्ट अ नेचुरल नंबर नेचुरल नंबर स्टैंड्स विद अ सिंबॉल दैट इज सेड टू बी एन एंड इट स्टार्ट्स विथ वन टू थ्री फोर इट गोज टू इनफाइनाइट इट हैज नो एन सिमिलरली इट इज सेकेंड वन इट इज होल नंबर होल नंबर स्टैंड्स विथ डब्ल्यू दैट इज कैपिटल डब्ल्यू कैपिटल डब्ल्यू now your zero is included so it would be 0 1 2 3 till it again goes till infinite here one more thing i would like to tell you is that here i written n is a subset of w n is a subset of w means it states that n all the natural number all the natural number are present in the whole number all the natural numbers are present in whole number so it is symbolically indicated as a subset so n is a subset of W, fine. Next part, we are having next number that is said to be your integers. Integers, integers is indicated as a symbolical. It is indicated as Z. It has basically on both the side. It goes on both the side. So I had started with infinite. It is minus two, minus one, zero, one, two, and it again on the that is right hand side. It is infinite. So here you can say that natural number and whole number comprises of only a positive sides. only a positive sides whole number consists of zero also but integers right hand side and left hand side both of them it is negative negative and positive here again it says that as you had seen natural number is a subset of whole number similarly whole number is a subset of integers means all the whole number including 0 1 2 3 4 all the numbers are including the integers similarly one more concept is there that all the natural number are present in the integers itself so you can say that all the natural number that is starting from 1 to infinite each and every numbers are present in the integers next part the new topic for our standard 9 that is rational number and basically it is irrational number rational and irrational so rational number basically rational number is indicated by a symbol that is basically q it is capital q and the symbolically it can be written as p upon q form this rational number can be indicated as p upon q form where where p belongs to belongs to the z z means it is integer and q belongs to again z but q would not include it as zero q does not belongs to zero otherwise all the numbers including the positive and the negative all the numbers are included in q but p all the numbers positive negative and zero let us take some few examples for it the examples for rational numbers it can be 1 it can be 2 upon 3 it can be minus 1 see minus 1 can be written in p upon 4 q form that would be minus 1 upon 1 This one zero is zero rational number. So yes, zero is also a rational number. Why? Because zero can also be written as zero upon one. So zero itself is also a rational number because denominator can be one, but denominator cannot be zero. Okay. So this was about a rational number. Going with irrational number, so irrational number. There is no particular symbol for irrational number, but you have written the examples for it. That is root three, root two, root three. root 5 root 6 it goes to infinite i had not mentioned root 4 because root 4 itself is a perfect square of 2 right root 4 is a perfect square of 2 root 9 is a perfect square of 3 so that number itself gets converted into a natural number into a whole number or itself it gets converted into a integers therefore that particular number cannot be considered as your irrational number second thing the pi value the value of pi you might be knowing the value of pi might be that is pi stands for 
22 upon 7 or it can be 3.14 you know that pi is equals to 22 upon 7 or it is 3.14 but here pi is basically an irrational because pi stands for 3.14 15 it is infinite it goes till infinite similarly I have written one more example that is 10 one zero, one double zero, one triple zero. it is 1 0 0 0 whenever there is no infinite there is no basically a decimal then it goes still and that is said to be an irrational number fine now one more topic for rational number is that there are there are basically infinite 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 numbers rational numbers between any two given numbers there are infinite rational numbers between any two of the given numbers let us explain let us see with the help of a number line as you know number line this is a part of number line it is minus 2 minus 1 0 1 and 2 if it stands with natural number whole number it is okay integers till in integers it is okay but is it there any of the number between 0 and 1 it is not possible but due to rational number that is possible so I am writing 0 2 again it is 1 so it is 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.4 and again it goes till infinite similarly let us again see what would be the number between 0, 0.0 and 0 0.1 so it is 0 0 0.01 0 0.02 0. 0. Point, it would be 0 0.03 and it goes till it would be 0 0.1 so here you can see here it comprises of 10 numbers here also it comprises so there are there are total numbers it is said to be infinite rational number between any of the two any of the two given numbers similarly when a system when a, we are talking about system then all the system that is whole system here it is talking about natural number talking about whole number integers rational and irrational the total system comprises of that is said to be a real number and real number stands with r r that is rational number plus basically it is said to be your irrational number as guys you know there are infinite numbers infinite numbers between any two the any two given numbers so let us do the example for that as we know let us find first of all four rational number that is four four rational numbers between minus one and four it is minus one and four starting with the simple equation that is minus one and four so as I draw a number line it is minus 1 so here you can see it is minus 1 and it is 4 so here it stands with 4 you need to find 4 rational number 4 so here you can consider that is 0 would be the first one 1 would be the second one 2 would be the third one and 3 would be the fourth one so it is the first part it is a simple question stands with that find 4 rational number between minus 1 and 4 so using the number line using the number line you would find it out that is 0 1 2 and 3 as your 4 rational numbers is it okay this was a simple question going with next one example number 2 again find 4 you need to find same numbers but rational numbers between the 3 and 4 so now here the question goes change here it was minus 1 to 4 so you are having numbers that is 0 1 2 and 3 but here it is 3 and 4 you don't have whole number you don't have integer you don't have basically natural number but here let us consider a is equals to your 3 and b is equals to 4 okay converting that number into a rational number so a can be written as a can be written as 3 upon 1 and b can be written as 4 upon 1 right Similarly, we need to find rational numbers. How many rational numbers we need to find? It is 4. So that is a simple technique. Whatever rational numbers you need to find, whatever rational number you need to find, just multiply one more number to it. So I need to multi, I need to get 4. So I need to multiply, that is 3 upon 1, multiply by, it would be 5 upon 5. That is the, if I need to get 4 rational number, I need to multiply 5. If I need to get 6 rational number, I need to multiply 7. So it is 3 upon 1, multiply and divide by 5. So this would be equals to 3 5 it would be 15 and 1 5 it would be 5. The first part for A. The next part again similarly you need to go with this one. So it would be 4 upon 1, multiply by 
फाइव बाय फाइव सो इट वुड बी ट्वेंटी अपॉन फाइव दैट वुड बी फोर फाइव अ ट्वेंटी एंड वन फाइव अ फाइव सो यर यू कैन सी दैट फिफ्टीन अपॉन फाइव इज लेस देन ट्वेंटी अपॉन फाइव सो इन बिटवीन फिफ्टीन टू ट्वेंटी यू आर हैविंग सिक्सटीन अपॉन फाइव सेवेंटीन अपॉन फाइव एटीन अपॉन फाइव and that would be 19 upon 5 this are the four required rational number between 3 and 4 the second question again going with the third one example number 3 find five rational number between it is you are having that is between that is five rational number between 1 by 2 and 1 by 3 now here it is a fraction it is a fraction so let us assume a is equals to 1 by 2 And b is equal to one by three. The first part you should do is that a and b, whatever the integer fraction, whatever you are having, the denominator should be the same. The denominator should be the same. So for denominator, you need to get with the LCM that is two comma three. That will be two ones are three as it is three and one. So LCM would be equal to two comma three. That would be six. Six would be the LCM. Your six would be the LCM. So your a one by two multiply by three upon three. So it would be three upon six a part of a. Next part going with b. So b would be equal to one upon three multiply by. You need to multiply two to get the denominator. So that would be two upon six. You got the part. So here now you can see here you are having a that is three upon six and b. It is two upon six. Similarly, again you can see that is two upon six is less than three upon six. But again, two and three we are having in the numerator in which it does not consist any of the numbers. So as we had done in example number two, we had multiplied by five. So here again a would be equal to two upon six. Need to multiply by as we need to find six five. So we need to multiply it by. Six, and again for the B section, B would be equals to your three upon six. Sorry, multiply by you need to again go with six upon six. So your answer would be equals to eighteen upon thirty six, and this would be twelve upon thirty six. So here again now you can go is that eighteen upon thirty six is less than sorry. 12 upon 36 is less than uh, less than 18 upon 36, and that would be equals to 13 upon 36, 14 upon 36, 15 upon 36, 16 upon 36, and last would be 17 upon 36. Are your five rational number between 1 upon 2 and 1 upon 3? Thank you.